Welcome to Earlville Library District's Mystery Crafts for Summer 2022, Week 1. Today, Miranda's going to show you how to make this really cool flower frame decor for your home. Uh, we've got some lovely purple layered flowers and you'll get to use some vinyl. For this project, you'll need the following supplies that were included in your craft kit from us, or they're pretty easy to come by if you want to get them yourself. An 8x10 picture frame, some paper flower cutouts, an 8x10 purple piece of cardstock, the vinyl phrase of your choice, ours says, live life in full bloom, a jumbo popsicle stick, a glue stick, and transfer paper. The first thing Miranda does is grab one of each size of paper flower and she's going to glue them on top of one another from biggest to smallest. And she's going to arrange the petals so that they sit in between the petals of the flower underneath it. So those petals are all staggered and create kind of a sunburst effect. Make sure you do this for all four sets of uh, flower shapes and when you're done you should have four completed layered flowers. Next, Miranda's going to get that purple piece of cardstock and flip over each set of her layered flowers and glue them onto the cardstock. You can put this in any sort of arrangement you like. Miranda ends up sort of staggering hers uh, to fit on her page. Now you can grab your frame and open it up, pull back all of those little flaps. They're pokey, so be careful. Miranda says you can use a flathead screwdriver if you like. Remove the frame back and that little paper insert. You can discard that and then pop out the glass carefully and set your glass aside and you're actually now gonna reach for that sheet of vinyl lettering. And in order to separate the uh, vinyl lettering from the backing, you're gonna lay the vinyl lettering clear side face down and then you can see Miranda slowly peeling the white backing off. She's using a popsicle stick so that she doesn't actually touch any of the tacky letters. We want them to stay as tacky as possible so that they will adhere to the glass frame. So she's really carefully removing that backing and using that popsicle stick to make sure those letters stay put. Now she's aware that it's backwards. <laughs> That's the way it's supposed to be. Line up the right side of your text and the right side of your glass and you can lay that it should all be very sticky on that underside so lay it down and then with the popsicle stick smooth it over towards the left trying to smooth out any air bubbles along the way that's what that popsicle stick is for so that it's a nice smooth application once it's all down you can rub over each letter with that popsicle stick again giving it a little pressure encouraging it to just really stick to that glass because our next step is to peel away the clear adhesive backing and that bit's a little more sticky so miss miranda starts at the bottom there and uh, holds that clear backing really flat against the project and slowly peels it upwards this video has been sped up so she's not even going this quickly and if any of your letters start to peel up, just use that popsicle stick to kind of stick them back down in place and just work nice and slowly so that everything comes out smooth. And then once your letters are attached, you can grab your frame and set your glass back inside. The words should still be backwards, so pop that glass back in there bring out your flowered background paper and put that face down in there. Top with your frame backing, pop those hinges shut again, and you're all set. And thank you for joining us for week one of our summer reading program here at the library for summer 2022. This project was a lot of fun for Miranda to create and she had a good time and we hope you do too. If you've made this project and want to share photos of it with us, send those pictures over to our Facebook page in a direct message. Uh, we'd love to see what you guys are working on. Also, if you haven't yet grabbed this craft bag, please give us a call or stop in and see if we have any left. We will be releasing a new craft like this every week for the next five weeks. This is just one of six projects we have lined up for this summer. So stop in and see what we've got going on. There's giveaways in the building. We've got a book club meeting at the end of this month and, and for months to come and all sorts of great things. So thank you for watching and don't forget to stop in and see what else is going on at the Earlville Library District.